Uh, hey, hi all. Um, so today we are going to talk about uh, most awaiting um, technologies. I'm um, we, we can say that like CH uh, version thirteen, right? With AI, right? Because uh, today era or we can say nowadays AI is like booming in every uh, environment that could be in uh, uh, development, deployment, productions, securities, and many more things actually, right? So here we are going to talk about like what we have in version um, 13 that um, having uh, AI technologies, right? Because we have earlier uh, 12 versions from the 12 and 13, how is the difference and what exactly the difference between that version uh, 12 and version 13, the technology point of view, the course content, the labs, everything we are going to discuss about this particular um, uh, sections I mean those overall the curriculum and all those things right so the very first thing again uh, the version starting is all including with the AI technology technologies basically we can say that we have a uh, different different uh, um, uh, AI tools that are going to use inside this particular applications inside those uh, vulnerabilities finding out scanning enumerations uh, there is a lot of stuff in this um, uh, CH, CH program, right? So most of the thing, or we can say like most of the part that uh, in this uh, versions that are going to cover the, with the help of AI technologies, right? So when I just move the very first slide, if you notice now what we have in the versions 13, is all about the AI, right? If you uh, maybe have already talked about these are different, different AIs, like right? maybe this like chat GPT is like a more, uh, we can say it's like a popular some wording and chat GPT and all those things. But again, this is like a some different different uh, AI tool that maybe you guys are using some somehow, right? But in case of CH version 13, right? Uh, they introduce a AI tool. We can say that that known as a shell GPT. Shell why is a shell because it's run on the terminal. We can perform over the command prompt everything. That's why it's like a shell. We can perform those on the terminal command line where we can perform those different different actions. So what we can do with the help of shell, shell GPT and uh, what is the purpose, how we can go get uh, more detail, all those things, right? So in the second slide, if you notice now, we mentioned this point. So what we mentioned, like, like we have uh, some scenarios we mentioned here, what we mentioned that like under that uh, shell GPTs, right? Like similarly, we can say that uh, if you are a, a auditor or maybe we are an ethical hacker or a pen tester, tester, something like that, okay? and your task is to scan those vulnerabilities every day, maybe depend on that uh, customer requirement, depend on your project requirement, you are scanning those things, right? And you are doing those things manually, right? Or there's a lot of another option you can create in kind of scripting mechanism like under the bash, Python, lot of things. But again, it's all about those scripting mechanism, right? In the AI um, environment or in the AI era, right? Under the versions 13, we have a shell GPT, right? So this shell GPT perform these things automatically for you. So we mentioned this point, just something like that. See, so what we mentioned that, so unlike GPT, chat GPT, I mean, right? So does not uh, just create a command line writing the code and all those things, right? If you remember that we just input any anything in the chat GPT, then chat GPT just answer those things. But in the case of shell GPT, what we can do, we can simply perform those automation tasks, automated tasks. Right? If you notice now what we mentioned that, right? So see, we mentioned all those two, like we can perform those scanning, we can perform those uh, result, reporting, generating report, uh, all those things, I mean, see, we mentioned everything here, right? So what the purpose of that? So that we mentioned some background, like, yeah, we have some kind of uh, problems we are facing inside that, and for that we are doing this manually. But here, the solution what we have that shell GPT. So this particular shell GPT that automatically perform the network scanning for you, right? So similarly, if you notice now, we have early like NMAP, then we have mass scan, angry app scanner, we have a Zen map, multiple tools we have that, okay? But in the, in the case of AI's mechanism, these things are going to perform with the help of AI mechanisms, right? So these are some points, so especially the AI tool are going to deploy, I mean here that we have a shell GPT, okay? Apart from that, there's another lot of features, lot of advantage that we're going to talk about when we starting those uh, delivering those uh, in the classes and all those things. But now we just simply talking about those some advantage, some difference between those what shell GPT, why this is important. So it's all about those automated your entire 
admin task or we can say your entire scanning task. So that's some point about the shell GPT. The next point, the modules, the course curriculum and all those things. See, so the modules remain same, right? But the contents are going to change that. So similarly, in version uh, 12 and versions 13, we have a 20 chapter, right? So especially here, if you remember that in the versions 12, we have IoT hacking and we have like some uh, uh, three or four uh, exercise for the same, right? So here in this particular sections and in this particular versions 13, right? Mostly, uh, CH or we are dealing with the uh, live project and some uh, IoT devices, right? So content remains same, I mean, I mean the chapter remains same, but the contents are going to change. Contents means some extra part going to add that and that the older things are going to remove that, okay? So when we're talking about those um, things, I mean in the classes and also we'll explain the detail, but again, topics remain same for now. So that's a topic we mentioned here. <laughs> Jumping on the next point that we have outcome, like what we are uh, gaining from version 12 to version 13, right? So we mentioned some point here, right? So we mentioned like we have like some 40% like more efficiency than the cyber defenses because we are using some automated tasks. So the tasks are going to automate so as an human or as an uh, user, you have a many more time, right? To perform dealing with other stuff and all those things. And we have like 90% accuracy to detect the problems or we can say the threats, okay? And obviously if our employee and all those things or as an organize, as an employer, yeah, your tasks are going to develop those kind of productivity, okay? So see, these are some points, right? So mostly the AI skill are going to use that. You have a different, different hacking, uh, I mean, you are going to hack those systems with the help of different, different AI system that we have like some, uh, multiple AI tools, shell GPT, chat GPT, uh, and fake, something like that. We have a lot of tools, then we have like some, you are going to manage with some automatic or repeated tasks. So these are some kind of postures um, or some kind of uh, um, things are going to change or add inside this particular version 13 to get a more details to um, provide some high services or we can say that kind of security features into this particular version 13. Now, the Technologies update. So these are important point, right? When you're talking about those, what actually add inside these things, right? See, so if you remember this Active Directory. So in the versions 12, I think we don't have a, I mean, enumeration part, we have some small topic for those enumeration, Active Directory is testing for the LDAP and all those things. But here in the versions 13, right? Uh, they just mentions more thing about that uh, Active Directory because these are a the most popular attack that happening in the world and all, right? So Active Directory attack that they're going to add that, then defects, defect threats, cloud securities, then we have like post quantum, zero trust, IoT securities, lot of things are going to add. And similarly, we have like ransomware attack and mitigation. So these are some different, different uh, tactical part, we can say that going to add inside this particular version 13. And when we talk about explanations for these things, that we mentioned some small point for like, uh, what Active Directory attack, what Zero Trust architecture, the ransomware attack, the defects. So we just mentioned a small, small point, right? Like uh, uh, how the attacker used that and how as an ethical hacker or as an pen tester or as an securities guy, you need to take care of your organizations, like how we manage those things. So we just mentioned some small, small point, right? So that's the point we have that, right? Now, the next exam point of view. Remain same, right? We have a two exam in the master program. We have a CH MCQs and CH practical. Under the CH MCQs, we have a fourth hour exam. All the things are remain same. And under the CH practical, we have 20 questions with all the details. Okay. So once you clear these two, you'll become a CH master. Obviously, questions and some parts are going to change because the versions are going to change that. So obviously, it's going to change that. But again, the timing, the questions, the num number of questions I mean to say remain same. So once you get these two certificates, you will automatically get a third certification that is a CH master certificate. So that's exam point of view, okay. The lab in moment, right. So um, they added some extra data center in the lab in moment to get more flexibilities, redundancies, replicas for the same. Similarly, for using a lot of machine at the same times, so we need a Maybe sometimes we are getting some latencies and all those things, but now in the version 13, we got more data center, right? So multiple users can perform the task uh, at the same time. We mentioned that, and they have a 
high speed uh, i mean they mention some kind of lighting fast speed something like that we mentioned in, in that case it means once uh, you trying to launch a lab this will lab take maximum two two and a half minute or we can say under the two minute to uh, launch it properly so that we have like a lighting fast speed and depend on that requirement and they added some data center in the regional like let's suppose we are india or somewhere else so, so they added some kind of uh, uh, more data center for the high uh, or we can say solid tendency so this point we have that under that and then we have like a 99.95 uptime it means most of the time the data center is running properly and if may have some problem while launching the lab and something like that so yeah we have an option for the same you can also go for the support so these are some extra thing and new thing added inside your lab environment so that's like most important point for as a learner because again these all things are a practical based so you guys need to practice these things and for the practice we require a higher i mean overall we required a um, a kind of uh, lab that have a proper um, connections that don't have a maximum i mean they have a proper uh, uh, applications running i mean or less downtime we can say that so they introduce uh, some part so for the learning moment now for the freshers and for the experience the job role in versions 13 or we can say in the ch program right so if you remember then earlier we have uh, some limited number of roles for this uh, cyber security is up like earlier from that extending from like earlier to but now from 2 22 to 49 so these are some profile so like a important profile for the fresher guys and for the experience right why because ai is in the in the in the new world actually right and ai is everywhere right so if you know the concept properly like how we can implement where we can implement and how we can get the informations for our cell or for our organizations or how we can help out to our customer so always look at the data and all those things correct so these are some uh, jobs role okay that available worldwide okay depend on your skill and depend on requirement yes you can go that so that's a point for the job roles in the versions i mean not about the versions that i'm talking about that i mean once you get this kind of ai skill yes you have options for the same you can go for the same other things are remaining your experience and all those things and you know those things very well you can go that so what i'm trying to mention that if you know a freshers or uh, if anyone know those concept concept properly so yeah they can go for this particular uh, environment and they can access that data for the same so this point of that ch job roles right and then the key updates it's like a simple point okay see chapters are remain same right the labs are going to extend so we have some lab extension options see so 91 core lab plus 130 self study labs are available okay then for the practical part i mean the number of labs we need to perform that so earlier we have like a 519 but now we have like 550 and these are some extra thing that we discussed earlier like we have a zero trust we have active directory we have a ransomware cloud security options machine learning so these things are going to add like these are some extra part okay extra technology we can say that that are going to add inside this version 13 so if you notice this comparison between the version 12 and version 13 so these are some kind of point of view that we can check that so in the version 13 most of the things are going to um, um, exploit verifying with the help of this particular version i mean with the help of ai tool so we mentioned see something point like uh, we have a defect threats we have ai in machine learning ransomware attack then we have zero trust active directory mitigation all the things we mentioned here most of the part we just mentioned that like was seen version 12 and was a version 13 so that one point okay and uh, accordingly yes we can check that like uh, uh uh the updates right so update what exactly we are talking about those so we can check that the contents are going to uh, i mean the chapter remains same but contents are going to um, update update means basically those ai part okay and the number of labs like earlier we have mentioned that we have like 519 but we have like 550 and for the i labs okay and for the i labs they have a they increase the more data center that as an end user you'll get a uh more uh, i mean the applications are or the systems are going to access is easily so you don't um, take a much down time for the same thing right so yeah so overall is all about those ai okay and with the help of ai again i'm just mentioned that the today world is talking about the ai ai and ai 
So in the securities, we have that. We, I mean, in the versions 13, right? We just introduce this kind of AI platform, okay? And most of the part, most of the thing, we are going to talk about those AI. It means overall the optimization part, right? For the other details, especially those uh, uh, details like how the program are going on for the applications, I mean those training going on, right? So for that, we just mentioned everything in the description, something, right? Or you can visit our websites, webasha.com, okay? And you can simply filter out those details like what exactly you need that and accordingly we will discuss that. So these are some differences we mentioned that like these are like a, a, some key point, okay? And these are some job roles, then we have a lab environment and then we have a, some exams, exam remain same, I mean the questions and those the hours remain same. And then we have a, some technologies update in the versions 13 that we already discussed that. And then we have a, some kind of efficiency that update in versions 13 and then the modules. Then the most important part, the shell GPT. It's like most important part that are going to cover inside this particular training and all, right? So these are some kind of program, okay? And for the other details, for those training durations and all those things, yes, you guys can connect with that our portal and then we'll discuss that. Thank you. Bye-bye.